gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I- You have to be joking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look at me. Hey, what was that? That sounded like a door. Clarissa, come back. We came to help you. Don't... Ugh. Hello? Is this thing... Is this... God, is this... Is this going out or... Wait, I can... Ugh, I can hear myself. That's Ugh, not... Man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so... We still gotta get to her. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind? What was that? You... you heard that, right? Why do you keep asking me if I know what's going on? I don't. I have no idea. Just like the handprints. Okay, okay, fine, alright. Jeez. We'll both be in the dark together. Literally. Literally. Jinx! Crap. It's not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! I'm worried. Something must be really wrong. Clarissa's a lot of things, but she wouldn't... do whatever this is. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. In the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Uh. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like, a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't Nine. this like a classroom? U.S. Army Radio Communications School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? Why do you care what I want or don't want or anything? I didn't come here for this. Yeah, we really, really didn't come here for this. Why should we care? They didn't care. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh. I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't you called codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right. We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. All right, if I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. Nine. 
Eight. Fifty-three? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I am. I didn't need to get that far. Just my mom out there. This is kid. You missed Vince. There's there's all my. It's sad. He was. Now it's just. United States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Is this? Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We. Are uh, sunken. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. Time. What? I. That was not fun. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. your fingers. <sighs> Clarissa. Oh my god, you actually came. I mean, it did take you long enough, but still. Good. I've been sitting, fumbling around with this stuff. I don't know how to work this crap. Um, are you alright? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, you just sounded off, I guess. Right? Didn't she sound off? I don't really know what she normally sounds like. Well, I mean, I don't know fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a... Really These officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross here? Wait, what? Was all this stuff here a minute ago? Because if it was, there is something seriously wrong with me. Uh, um, some things... I, I don't... Wait, we already saw this, I think, in the cave? Or 
this stuff. It's like it's like the base is reverting back to when it was functional, or that's not the right word, but. Yeah, no, I know. It's crazy. This is crazy. It's just a, I, I don't even know. It's just nuts. The cave triangle people said, like, I don't want to... Look, I just want to try something. Like, if we can't call out, maybe we can try that thing. Uh, talking to, like, ourselves, you know? Just... This makes sense in my head, okay? Okay. Uh, sure. Hey, Clarissa, are, are, are you still in the base? We're in the comm room, I, I think, because... It won't be so easy. Cross your fingers. Yeah, fingers crossed, sure. Clarissa! Is there anything, like, can we cut her down with something? Cross your fingers. <gasps> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Clarissa! <sighs> oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. Clarissa. Alex, don't worry. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not, it's not like we're... She, she was, she was like possessed. I, I, I just, I, I just, uh, this is, Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't, I don't even know what to, we, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or, or how to tell them, I'm, well, We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw what happened. Oh my... Oh, thank Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just... Maybe she just twisted her... Twisted something, or... Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? This is impossible, because... Let's just put a pin in ghosts and say, until evidence proves otherwise. Well, regardless, good news? Yeah, we'll see. 